Hello there, the bearded burbler from down there. And down there is a lot of running water, as you can probably hear. But what also is down there is the old Duck Reach hydroelectric power station. The first commercial hydroelectric power station actually in the Southern Hemisphere. Let's go see. Situated slightly upstream from the Cataract Gorge Reserve is the old Duck Reach power station. This was opened in 1895 and decommissioned in 1955. And as you can see from the amount of water flowing through, it's situated in a good location for flowing water. Quite an awesome place to visit. You can take an old suspension bridge across to see. Well, here I am inside what used to be the engine house for the Flying Fox that used to transport goods across the, uh, the um, river here to the Duck River power station. Now there's a suspension bridge. Before there was just a Flying Fox. How intriguing. And while rusty, that is the original Flying Fox still sitting in its location on this side of the river. And you can see the river flowing past directly beneath the power station itself. Now the power station is quite an amazing building. It has had a bit of a checkered history. Of course, there have been floods here and what remains inside the building, the pipes have been cut off, but you can see the inlet pipes that used to lead down to the turbines that were bolted to the floor there. And of course, the outlet went down into the tail race on the other side and thereby back into the river. So fascinating to see. Overhead, there was even a gantry crane for moving equipment. So it is a triumph in Victorian engineering and those old cast iron pipes were actually there since before Australia was federated. Well, here I am inside the old power station. Obviously now all of the left it ghosts, but behind me there was the original switch room. In front of me, which I'll show you in a moment, is actually what's left of the turbine housing where they used to distribute them to the various turbines to provide power. Really, this is quite an incredible sight and it's certainly something well worth braving the suspension bridge to have a look and see. This is really engineering on a mammoth scale of the Victorian era. This is a triumph. Of course, the discharge pipes were on the downstream side and led straight back into the river. And as you can see, there had been flooding here in the past. So truly a fascinating piece of history, complete down to the old flying fox. And of course, the buildings which used to house the workers up above. And these are they, one of which has been reduced to ruins, but certainly amazing. Now yeah, that's fascinating. And oddly enough, the Niagara Falls hydroelectric plant, which everyone's heard about, started operation in 1893. This started two years later in 1895. How interesting is that? Anyway, we'll see you next time somewhere out there in what we like to call the two-hour circle. We'll see you then. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.